Hi, I'm Mark with Kimray. The glycol pump is used to control triethylene glycol circulation in gas dehydration systems. In this video, we'll examine some internal parts of the glycol pump that have been damaged during operation. We'll explain what these parts may be telling us about the cause of the damage and offer some solutions to prevent further damage. The first reason for glycol pump failure is scratches on the piston rod. The cause for this scratching is likely some sort of trash or debris in the dehydration system that's made its way all the way to the pump. You can either sand this piston rod down or replace it. If you sand it, use 120 grit emery cloth, but be careful not to sand it too much. If the outer diameter becomes too small, the o-ring will not seal correctly. As a general rule, if you can still feel the scratch with your fingernail, it's sharp enough to cut an o-ring, so the rod needs to be replaced. The solution for this problem is to use finer filters or possibly change your filters more often. There's typically one filter on the suction side of the pump and one on the tower side. The second cause of glycol pump failure is excessive wearing on the middle of the piston rod. Excessive wear in the middle of a piston rod is due to the pump short stroking, meaning it's not stroking at its entire capacity. There are four reasons your pump is short stroking. One is that trash has gotten in the system and cut the O-rings, causing the wet and dry glycol to mix. The solution for this is to change filters or go to a finer filter element. A second reason is the pump and dehydration system are not started up properly. The solution for this is to restart your dehydration system, slowly opening your main valve to make sure the pump is stroking evenly. Third, the dart got stuck in the dart cap, causing the pump to skip. This can happen if the pump sits too long between operation or the glycol gets contaminated. You need to take the caps off and clean the dart and caps and make sure they move freely. If you have a standby pump, we recommend starting it up every quarter to get fresh glycol in the system so the darts don't get stuck. The darts also get stuck due to excessive wear in the caps or the dart stems, which create too much side-to-side -side play. This will cause the pump to skip. You need to change the dart or cap or both. Another cause for the darts getting stuck is if debris such as Teflon tape, grass, or straw have become wedged between the dart and seat area. You will need to clean the dart and seat area and make sure they move freely. The solution for this is proper filtration. A fourth cause of short stroking is excessive wear on the cylinder, which will cause wet and dry glycol to mix. This wear is caused by long-term use and the cylinder will need to be replaced. If scratches are present, then the solution for this is proper filtration. The third cause of glycol pump failure is a broken pilot piston. The cause of a broken pilot piston is that the system lost suction at some point and pumped dry. This may have happened because of a poor startup and no glycol return or because an o-ring was cut. Another cause may be that you're losing glycol. This can happen if the pH in the glycol is off, causing it to foam and go out the top of the contactor and into the sales line rather than staying in the system. The solution at this point may be to clean and steam your dehydration system. The fourth cause of glycol pump failure is condensate getting into the pump where it isn't supposed to be. An important word of caution, this condensate is extremely flammable. You need to keep this out of the reboiler and prevent possible combustion. The cause for condensate getting into the pump is a problem with the flash separator or the absence of one altogether. One indicator is if condensate drops out of the pump right when you remove the plugs. Another sign of condensate is if the O-rings have swelled, making it difficult to remove the seats from the suction block or to remove the cylinders. The O-rings on the darts may be missing entirely because of the contact with condensate. The solution for this problem is to check the operation of the flash separator. If one does not exist, consider installing a flash separator in your system. If you'd like to request a site visit or in-person training on your glycol dehydration system, contact your local Camry representative or authorized distributor.